crawl there. You need to go on that. Nah, I can get a crawl. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can get a crawl. Yeah, I see that. Shit. I can do it. I just didn't jump. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> Damn, this is sticking my heart. I need to go down with it. It's all food. Yeah. 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 Guys, it's September 25th, and we just got up here to Bullard Creek WMA. Um, got our tent all set up, unpacked, and everything. Um, it's uh, still hot, but we'll have to deal with it. Um, we're about to go up town to get us some groceries for the few days we're going to be here. We'll be here. Today's Wednesday. We'll be here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, we'll go home Saturday around lunch. We don't want to get home at, after dark so but yeah got the tent uh camp all set up place is real nice um, pretty shaded right here where we're at it comes with a campfire pit and a grill and a picnic table um, it's pretty nice and electricity and water running water pretty nice we'll be staying here for three nights but yeah, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Good morning. It's right at 7 o'clock Thursday morning, September 26th. It's day one of our three day hunt here at Bullet Creek. Um, it's a three day check in primitive weapon hunt. You can kill two deer, two bucks, two does, a buck and a doe, and they'll tag it, and it won't go towards your uh, state tags. Um, we came, which I'm already already said this, but we came last Friday and scouted a little bit, found this little spot that I'm in, um, sitting on the edge of a, I guess a wet, wet weather creek kind of thing, like a little drain. There's no water in it right now, but there's been water in it before. Um, there's some oak trees in it and um, when we were here Friday there was oak, um, acorns all over the ground right here in front of me the acorns that fell a little bit further down they had done got all them up um, but the acorns there were still acorns right here where I'm at so I'm hoping maybe they hadn't ate them all up yet and they're gonna come in here this morning and eat on them or catch some walking this edge here or kind of passing through these bigger pines out here behind me um, plus with all the people here hunting, you never know when somebody might run one over you. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we'll see some deer at least. Um, I'm really hoping I get to kill a decent buck. But, uh, if not, I'd still be happy to see some deer. Um, met some pretty nice folks last night. Um, met camp. Hopefully we'll meet a couple more throughout the hunt. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get settled in. Hopefully we'll have some action this morning. And uh, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit.
it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, wound up seeing eight this morning. Saw three right after daylight. Three does. They were uh, right here in these bigger pines feeding along. Assuming picking up some of that newer growth on this, on that underbrush out there. Then, uh, later on in the morning, I had two does come across this little bottom right here, come beside me and walk out in these pines and fed along out there as well. And then, I, it wasn't too much longer after I saw those. I had three, three does come running across out here in these pines. Um, I don't believe it was the same three I saw this morning because once I saw the first thing, they went out here straight in front of me. These come from the uh, from the west there. Um, I never seen any bucks, but uh, like you, like we all know, that's just how it goes sometimes. You ain't gonna see them every time you go. But it's been real pretty this morning. It hadn't been hot at all. Acorns are dropping like crazy right here. But I hadn't had any deer out there eating any yet. Maybe they'll come out there this afternoon and feed on them. Late this afternoon. Yeah, I'm about to get on down. Go find something to eat. Maybe do something else before we get back out in the woods. We might go look for another spot. Alright guys, we're back out here. Sitting in the same spot we was this morning. Um, I think it's almost five o'clock. Um, of course, it's still hot. Sweating like crazy. I think my back soaked from the sweat. But when I went back out here, I uh, when I got down, I had put a trail camera here when we came last Friday, and I pulled it. And uh, when I got back to camp, looked at the pictures. And that night that we put the camera out, I had a pretty decent eight point right there. Um, and I, if I see him, I'm definitely going to shoot him. Um, he's no monster or nothing, but he's he, he definitely a, a shooter. Um, for me, anyways. And then he was here this morning. Well, pretty much all, all of last night feeding on these acorns behind me. So I'm hoping maybe he's going to come in late this afternoon I'll be able to see him out in these pines maybe he'll come out here and feed in the pines like them does did <clears throat> before he gets into here these acorns um, but we'll just have to wait and find out it's hot though I know I've already said that and y'all know it everybody's hunting in Georgia right now knows it's hot it's just super hot it's about unbearable Especially when you gotta tote all this camera crap in here, along with a stand. It's uh, 7.30. Never wound up seeing anything this afternoon. Had several trucks come come by me all throughout the afternoon. Um, sitting pretty close to the road, so it probably had an effect on my deer this afternoon. Um, this morning, the trucks kind of held off till later on in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. Got a 50-50 chance of seeing something. And I guess my chance this afternoon was to not see nothing. But uh, we'll be back out here tomorrow morning. Don't know if I'll be sitting in this spot or if I'll go in somewhere else. 
haven't made my mind up yet, but I'll, uh, I'll be somewhere. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get all packed up, and I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. It's Friday morning. I'm back sitting in the same spot I was yesterday. I didn't decide to go somewhere else. I, uh, I'm going to go during the middle of the day today and find me another spot. Um, hopefully we'll go ahead and shoot one this morning. It won't be as bad. Uh, but you can't ever tell. It's uh, almost 7 o'clock. Birds are chirping. There ain't no wind, it's real calm. So I uh, hope we'll have a good morning, see some deer. But I reckon I'll talk to y'all a little bit later in the morning. It's almost 9.30. I had never seen anything this morning. I'm gonna get on down and we're gonna go ride and go try to find us another spot. Uh, I would normally sit a little bit later, but I wanna get down since I ain't seen nothing. And we're gonna go find another spot and we'll see if we can drive and maybe that way people still be in the woods and we can see where everybody's parking at so we know where not to go in at. Because I prefer not to get walked in on or walk in on somebody. Um, but in hunting public land, that's just a, a, something that's going to end up happening to you every once in a while. Somebody's going to end up walking in on you or you'll walk in on somebody. Um, that's just how it goes. But it was real pretty this morning. It, didn't ever get too hot. Wind started blowing a little bit while ago, and it was it was pretty nice when it was blowing. I think my daddy said that he saw a uh, a yearling, and he had a doe bust him. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get on out of here, and we'll go see if we can find a little bit better spot to hunt. I think this is just too close to the road. There's, I mean, there's good food source here, but it's just too close to the road, I guess. Rode around a pretty good bit. 
um, ended up finding a spot that I was planning on hunting this afternoon and in the morning. Um, but when I got back there this afternoon, there was already a truck parked there. So I had to kind of find me somewhere in the blind. So I just kept on driving down the road till I saw somewhere from the road that looked halfway decent. And I walked in one place. It wasn't what it, I thought it was when I got out there, so I turned around. Went back to the truck, I, where I parked the truck at. That was a road that kept on going. So I figured I'd just haul out, haul tail down that road and find me somewhere. Well, I got almost to the pine, the bigger pines, and there was a truck parked there. So I turned around, went back to the truck, got in the truck and just hauled tail down the road. Um, while we were driving around today, we uh, come across a clear cut and there was several pretty good trails coming out of it. So uh, I decided to just walk across this clear cut and climb on these pines on the edge of it. Um, looks pretty good, there was a lot of tracks all the way across it, all the way over here. Um, got bigger pines on the north and the west side of it. This is kind of like a square, the clear cut is, and then on the south end there's a uh, section of small pines. So maybe the deer bedding in these small pines, they're gonna come across here. Something, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll see something this afternoon. Can't never tell. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit back and see what comes out, and I'll talk to y'all later on. Appreciate it. Well, I was about to pack up because it started raining and my daddy texted me and he said it was fishing. it was starting to rain there at the camp and uh, I left the tent box in my truck and it's got the rain fly in it. So everything, if it's raining, everything's in the tent's getting wet. So I was just going to go ahead and get on down and uh, I was fishing to do my, my outro. And I heard something walking here behind me, so I turned around and I saw deer coming up this this edge of these pines behind me. Well, I thought they were going to keep on coming up the edge of the pines that come out here in this opening. Well, they didn't. They cut here across me behind me in the bigger pines. So I had to get turned around. I was trying to get them on film. I don't know if I did or not. 
Look like two small bucks, maybe four four point spike, something like that. If I could have got them on film, and I was gonna shoot. I was gonna shoot one of them. I normally wouldn't shoot a deer that small, but come all this way and they tag it. I mean, why not? And I get some meat in the freezer. Um, but it didn't work out. They got by me, and it was kind of thick back there. I'm really too high to be shooting and that stuff. Um, and then I think that one got downwind of me there and they kind of got skish and kind of trotted off. They never blew or anything, but they took off. It's, it's, it's uh, raining right now, starting back, getting decent heavy. Um, but that's just the way it goes. Um, at least we saw some deer. Chained loons some bucks, two, two of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna come back here in the morning or what. Seen some deer, I might as well. I won't climb as high. I'll be able to see so I can see out there in them pines. I might, I don't know. I'll, I'll sleep on it. You know what I'll do? I might not even get up. But uh, yeah, I need to get on out of here before it gets raining too bad. Um, and I reckon I'll see y'all in the morning. Well, I did just like I said. Didn't get up that next morning, so didn't get that last morning hunt in. We ended up just uh, packing up camp, and then I wanted to go shoot on the archer range that they have there at that uh, WMA. It's real nice. I still can't believe something like that's on a public uh, WMA. Anybody can go and shoot. It's real nice. There's several targets. Uh, I wish there was someone like that close to where I live. I'd be wearing that place out. But I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm going to show a few clips from that for y'all to see. Um, but before I do, I want to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all. And thank you, everyone, y'all, all the new subscribers. Right now we're at 955, getting close to 1,000. Um, so once we hit 1,000, I plan on doing some type of giveaway. I haven't quite decided what that'll be yet, whether I give like a hat away or a hat and a shirt or something else. Um, once I get closer to it, I'll decide and do some type of video announcing that. Uh, but yeah, um, if you hadn't already, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and leave a like on the video and comment if you've got any questions and don't want to ask me anything. Um, but I appreciate y'all doing that. And I reckon that's it. Appreciate it. And I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all. in the center of them. Woo! <laughs> What is about twenty? Fifteen. Now you need to get one on your phone. You have to do that. Well, we got my arrow.